everybody. Uh, I got the pleasure of uh, talking about the John Hartford banjo here today, and I want to maybe just tell you a little bit of uh, how this banjo came about and uh, what makes it so special. So first of all, I think you know on a, uh, this. Um, it was inspired greatly, of course, by John Hartford. Not only the design is a real, you know, sort of riverboat design on the banjo, but also the pot constru construction. Um, it is very light. Uh, that's why it's preferred by actually a lot of women like to have this banjo because it's not so not so heavy. John Hartford, you know, uh, needed a banjo that was lighter because he was tap dancing and he also uh, um, uh, was more comfortable, you know, at, at his time of his life, you know, with a banjo that was lighter. And the, the, the banjo is made out of, you know, there are two models of, of this. One is with a one-piece flange and one is with a pop-on resonator. It's a resonator that you can just sort of, you know, pop on and pop off, you know, as, as you like to have an open back or a, a resonator banjo. But uh, I think John Hartford had a lot of these uh, uh, one-piece one piece flange. Uh, the, the banjo itself um, has a tone ring, but you can't see it. It is a wood tone ring. Out of uh, uh, Granadillo, and uh, it is the same material they make marimbas out, and uh, you know different various you know instruments. It is a great tone wood, and it's extremely hard, and uh, uh, it's it's a beautiful wood, and it's put on top of a soft maple rim. So the soft maple rim really vibrates well, and on top you have this harder wood, which is necessary for the banjo to sustain well. Now John Hartford also used the the banjo, you know, tuned tuned down. So uh, he used then of course thicker strings you know and tuned the banjo down sometimes F or E uh, uh, to, his, to, to match up with his voice and it sounded very rich and full. Now this instrument I'm playing right now right here is set up uh, pretty much like somebody in a bluegrass band would play it and I think it makes an amazing bluegrass banjo. I, I, uh, I was just at a festival and uh, somebody played this in a bluegrass band. I just played in one microphone, and I just thought it was amazing because I didn't see the banjo. I was coming on from the parking lot, and I thought, "Oh, this is a really good sounding banjo." And uh, but and, and it was it was a John Hartford, and um, uh, it sounded really really good because when you go to the because of its lightness, it responds very very quickly. Uh, it uh, it just sort of pops very very easily. So when you when you play closer by the bridge. You have an initial really good popping sound of the banjo. So if you so it really it really works well because it's light. It is also very very suitable for 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 uh, uh, um, uh, slower music um, because you see when you when you play. Very lightly, because of the weight of the banjo, it responds very, very quickly. Um, so, so the initial note of the banjo is compared to other banjos, I'd say, a, just a little bit louder. The initial note. So if you want more sustain, if you want the, the the sustain to be longer, you would have to play a little bit more by the neck than some of the other banjos. But then you have a you have a really really good sustain. I, what I what I really like about this banjo is that when you play in a jam session, you can always hear the banjo well, because you don't have to really play it hard in order to respond uh, uh, aloud. Um, now, also what I noticed on these instruments, because the woodrum is is light and it's only wood, the woodrum is actually fairly flexible, you know, to a to, to, to motion. So what I like to do, you know, a lot of times when I play slow, I like to just, you know, do this a little bit. And it gives it more expression to the tone. So, so it really has a, an absolute stunning, beautiful tone. Um, what else is there to say? Well, there would be a lot of things I could tell about the banjo, but it's 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 pretty much you know then would would also apply to the other models that I w want to talk about. But I I think this is a, a, a banjo where you would think well it doesn't have a tone ring it's maybe not loud enough and I, that's definitely not the case. It just has different sound properties and it it works in a different way. But it's but it's definitely not quieter than another banjo. And I 
you know, I always wanted one actually, but but this is great just to sit here for a while and just play it. So I will do that for the next few minutes, I guess, when nobody's listening. 